All right, guys, we are back and we are reviewing Blue Note Bourbon. Now, this bourbon was actually sent to me by the Big River Distilling Company. Now, they sent me their Blue Note Bourbon and the River Set Rye. I actually reached out to them, saw a couple of reviews of this, and I really wanted to see if I could get my hands on it because it's not local. But I really wanted to get some to review for you guys because it seemed like a really good expression of theirs. They were kind enough to send me the bottles, and of course, I told them, you know, I'm going to be honest in the review. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. So that's the way it goes. But they were kind enough to send this to me, and I'm really excited to try it. So again, they are Big River Distilling. They are located in Memphis, Tennessee. And it's called Blue Note Bourbon because uh, Memphis, of course, is known for their blues. You know, blues music. And th they kind of named that to pay homage to, to the blues in, in Memphis, T Tennessee. So that's where they got the name for the bourbon. But the specs on the bourbon are, are pretty nice, too. 93 proof. Comes in at nine years age dated. It is unfiltered, so that's very nice. Um, you know, not, not filtered at all, so so that's going to be nice. Hopefully, get some more of those rich flavors. Um, being nine years, um, it does say it is uh, made in Tennessee, so I'm guessing most likely this is going to be George Dickel juice. Um, just a guess. There was no specifics um, or them stating that this is their own own whiskey or anything in the bottle, so I'm guessing it's probably from Dickel. Um, but nothing wrong with sourced, sourced whiskey as long as it's good. Nine years is very nice too because that's kind of the sweet spot for bourbon in my opinion. Um, between, I say I would say between 7 and 12 seems to be a, a spot where I like it. I don't want like too much oak and I don't like it getting those youthful flavors either. So I feel like this could, could have potential to be quite a, good, quite a good product, but we'll see. So I'm excited, I'm excited to try this and review this for you guys. You can see I've already gotten into the bottle. I let it, let it get down a little bit so I could... Um, give it a fair review, but let's go ahead and, um, and give it a pour, guys. All right. Okay. Oh, goodness. Nice tight cork there. And there goes the challenge coins. But looking at the color here first, nice color. Um, not overly dark in my glass. It's here. It's a uh, pretty much like a light to medium caramel color. Um, it is actually sticking to the glass quite nicely. That's probably from that um, unfiltering. They're not filtering this product at all. So it would make sense why it's a little bit thicker sticking to the glass on there. And I think that's quite nice. Let me give this a quick swirl here, guys, so we can get a nice pungent aromas in the nose here. All right, let's give it a nose, guys. Ooh. Nice brown sugar comes through first. Heavy brown sugar note. The oak is definitely there, but um, it's not a, a leading a leading note. It's, it's a secondary note. A little bit of butterscotch on this, I'd say. Hmm, it's got a very interesting note that I can't put my can't put my finger on either. Something in there I can't I can't pick out. Baking spices are definitely on the back end here as well. A little bit of clove. Cinnamon's there too for sure. It smells good. It's it's got that classic I mean it smells like a classic bourbon, you know. Um Tiny bit of astringency, I guess I would say. A little bit of that medicinal alcohol note. Which is quite surprising for nine years. I was not expecting that. Also being the um, the unfiltered, you know. Let's give it a sip though, guys. Cheers. Um... It's a little bit thin. Um, it's not coating the mouth like I really want it to. I was really hoping that un, being un, unfiltered, it would nice, leave a nice coating. I mean, the um, it coats the tongue well, but it doesn't leave that, that nice mouth feel you get with a, a full rich bourbon. It's a little bit thin. Let me give it another sip. Sometimes that first sip, um, you need to go in for a second one before you can get your true notes off of it.
vanilla notes, caramel notes. Not overpowering though. Um, it's kind of subtle. The astringency is not there on the taste, which is good. Um, I don't get the astringency on the on the flavor. That was more just coming through on the nose, so I am glad about that. Brown sugar still there again. Not picking up much of a fruit note. Hmm. Yeah. Um, brown sugar is present for sure. The baking spices, though, don't come through like they did on the nose. Yeah, it's definitely more on the nose, I say, for that. It's, it's pretty solid. Um, it's just an, an easy drinking bourbon. Um, it's nothing that's really gonna blow you away. Um, it's not it's not knocking my socks off really. It's it's, it's very solid though. I mean, it's, it's a, a bourbon you don't have to, it's not gonna fight you at all. Easy to drink, it's got the, the nice classic bourbon profile you want if you're just sitting down at the end of the night to have a bourbon. So overall, it's pretty solid. Um, MSRP on this guys is between about 50 and $55. Now again, this is coming from like a micro distillery. So that's pretty much about where you're going to be for bourbon, um, with, in whiskey in general from a micro distillery, they can tend to be a little pricey at times for a nine year product unfiltered, um, 50 to 55 bucks is not bad. The proof is nice at 93. So it's not like a, you know, 80, 85 or even 90. It's amplified a little bit, which is nice. Um, 50 to $55 is a tough price range because there's a lot of really good bottles out there. As far as distribution on this, I don't think this is distributed all over the country. I think local to um, Tennessee and maybe maybe some surrounding states, they, they may possibly distribute this. But um, as far as the rest of the country getting it, you'd have to almost, I believe, go to that area to, to find this bourbon. And that's just from talking to some other people when I've asked them if they've seen this bottle and they they said they really haven't, so. But overall, it's a solid, it's a, it is a solid, solid bottle. The age is great. Um, I have no problem drinking it at all. Um, I, it's just, at $55, it may be tough for me to not lean to, to something else on it, guys. I am also gonna be reviewing the Riverset Rye coming up very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm excited about this rye. It's a three-year rye, but, um, I've always said rye hides age very well. I mean, as a lot of you know, rye does age more quickly than, than bourbon does. So excited to try that. And I'm extremely grateful to Big River Distilling for allowing uh, me to try these bottles. I really wanted to try them and I appreciate, um, appreciate them making that happen for me. So thank you guys so much. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Um, also go check out my Patreon page. Uh, a lot of exclusive content you can only find on Patreon. And if you're a patron, um, it's a lot of fun over there. We have a great community. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Stay insane. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram, at Bourbon Sane, and Facebook, Bourbon Sane.